You guys aren't going to believe this. I'm just out on my evening walk here. I'm always looking for wildlife. I have found a Canadian crocodile. Check this out. I'll flip you around. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look at the size of that. Definitely Canadian crocodile. Kind of rare, I think. Right here in the ditch. It's like a 12 footer. I'm finding it really hard to find the time to make videos for you guys now. I'm in the office, uh, I'm doing half days every day and then a couple hours at night at home. So uh, it's helping with my anxiety, it's helping get me out of the house, it's helping my wife get work done, <laughs> but it's definitely not helping the YouTube channel. <laughs> so out walking with Stan over the last few weeks has really helped as well too. You know, we've probably done 20 miles in the bush and we all kind of get cabin fever up here, you know, end of winter. By March, everybody kind of feels it, right? You're not uh, out visiting folks. You're not leaving the house unless you have to. It just becomes a winter grind of snowplow the driveway and hunker down and wait for spring. And that, you know, becomes the routine every day. Take the dog for a walk in the bush by yourself, right? So you kind of have to get out, force yourself to get out. And uh, exercise is a huge one. It's, it's helping me a lot. I'm down 10 pounds. I'm going for another 10 too. <laughs> We're not done yet. So I got to lose that winter weight. And that, that makes you feel better too, right? Just to get up and uh, exercise for an hour every day. Oh, I just can't tell you guys how much the sunlight, you know, spring this time of year, just a couple hours of sunshine a day can change your mindset, right? All those gray days from November pretty much to March, we don't see a lot of sun. It can wear on you. Uh, you get that seasonal affective disorder. I'm pretty sure I have that because every spring I'm just like cabin fever to the max. And I'll tell you guys, this year was the worst it's been in a long time. And I think that's to do, you pile COVID on top of that, right? Where everything, like the, the local Y was shut down, all of the local services, things, clubs that we would join were all shut down. So uh, I'm feeling it more than I have in many years. And again, you know, I just have to reiterate, you got to get out and do the things you like to do, even if you don't feel like doing them. You know, grab your camera and just go every day. Go for a walk. Eventually, you'll find something to take a picture of. You know, exercise every day, whether you want to or not. Um, that's a, the exercise is a huge one. For me, that's, that's the way I manage my anxiety. So, you know, here I am tonight going on my walk. It's uh, actually the second walk of the day. I took Gage out for two hours earlier and now I'm going for an hour by myself. <laughs> it's kind of nice without the dog. <laughs> As we're walking along, you'll see in everybody's yard the uh, buckets for doing uh, maple syrup. And now a few of you guys have asked me, why are you collecting sap? Well, we collect the sap from the maple trees and we make Canadian maple syrup. That's what we do. We boil it down and you get rid of all the water and it basically becomes caramelized, sugary, syrup right canadian maple syrup the good stuff the real stuff it's not made with cornstarch like in the states that's what they do right they put all these other products in there this is just 100 percent boiled sap that becomes sugar basically Why, Gage? Why? He was just laying down. Well, there he goes again. Yeah. 
Really? And you think that you don't need a bath? I'm having a bath right now, Dad. My bath. Dude, that's disgusting. Even Finley thinks you stink. Look at This is why I don't want to take you out of the house this time of year. There's something wrong with you. I think he's half boxer, Tom. <laughs> See, this is how the professionals do it. Extra <laughs> care and detail, eight ounces at a time. You wanna make sure you get the right amount. So I just came over to Brandon's to do some reconnaissance and see how his operation's going so I can report back to Tom. By the look of it, they're doing better than we are. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, it smells like syrup. But they're they're doing it the newfangled way, right? You gotta have wood smoke. You gotta have a real fire going. It just doesn't taste the same. Yeah, he's got you beat, Tom. He's got three of these full, so you're gonna have to uptake on the production there if we're gonna keep up. So I'm actually going to play ball again this summer. I've uh, signed up to spare on a team with uh, Tom. I wanted to play, but uh, in the two days it took me to decide, uh, they filled the spot. <laughs> so I'm going to start by uh, sparing. I haven't played for three years. Played for 15 years in a row before that. was uh, We captained a team in Sudbury for many years. Won a few championships back in the day, so I think I still have it in me. What got me into the wanting to play again this year is my daughter's 16. And I always said if I was in good enough shape and still young enough that uh, I would like to, to play ball on the same team as my daughter. And she's really into baseball. She plays on the 15-whatever uh, league, 15 to 17-year-olds. So two nights a week she's doing that. So then I kind of realized she doesn't have time. She's uh, got a job this summer, so first job ever, that's awesome. She's gonna be a lifeguard at the Y. And she doesn't really have time to hang out with dad, right? She's playing on her own team, so. But I'm gonna come out of retirement and uh, I'm gonna help Tom's team win a championship. This one's for you, Tom. And my ducks are back. Every year I get probably three sets of mallards, male and a female, three pairs and they nest in the swamp between Tom's house and my house. So they'll be swimming around in the tree line <laughs> between our houses uh, right up until close to June. We have water in there. And uh, we'll see the little baby ducks. Hopefully I'll try to get some pictures of them this year. 
And we also have the wood ducks just down the road. There's a neighbor that has a big pond and he gets otters in there and uh, really nice wood ducks. So I'd like to get some photographs there as well. And of course, behind us, we've got the Lavaz River, which runs all the way down our road um, on the other side of the road from my house, but all kinds of ducks and wildlife down there. So maybe we'll get some photos of spring down there as well. I keep my eye out all the time. You never know what you're gonna see. In fact, I just said I keep my eye out and you never know what you're gonna see. I look down here at the river and I'm pretty sure there's a beaver sitting down here on the edge of the river. Let's see if we can zoom in on them. I've only got the phone, but. And I just heard an owl just called across the pond here as I'm walking home. Can you guys hear that? I'm actually standing in my backyard now. And the owl's not too far behind my house, like a hundred yards. That's awesome. Probably gonna nest right back there. We're gonna get some photos, guys. We are gonna get some photos. <laughs> 